One night in the mid-1980s, my brother Paul and I met a coach who connected with us from thousands of miles away. We didn't know much about Syracuse, but we loved lacrosse and the opportunity coach offered. We left everything we knew behind and followed him to the other side of the continent together. We had a lot to learn about Syracuse, the tradition that existed, where the program was heading. That's it, the ball game's over. Syracuse is the new NCAA Division I champion. We played for the love of the game and our teammates. Together we wrote the next chapter. If you didn't see him play, Paul was magic. Paul Gate going airborne. Growing up, we had taken turns being the star player for our teams. And when it came to Syracuse, he lit it up like no one else. Gate fires score! Prolific passer. And Paul behind the back in close to Gary, yes! Superior athlete, fierce competitor, the complete player. Here's Paul Gate shooting, he scores with three seconds left! He taught us all, with no fear and a thirst for titles. Everyone knew we were changing the game. Not just Paul and I, but the entire team. But at the heart of it all was Paul. In 89, in what some say was the greatest game ever, Paul was the most outstanding player. Paul Gate is having the game of his career. Three-time first team All-American, three-time champion. The Gate era ends at Syracuse with a third straight national championship a member of every lacrosse national hall of fame. Paul scores, and he has written himself into the record book. So, when people ask, who are the greats? Who are the game changers? Who are the trailblazers? I look in the mirror and I see my brother Paul, the best player I ever knew, the best teammate, the best friend. I love you, brother. 19 is now where it belongs.